I'm Christine Deeren for DS Diamond Blog Views. We're here at the Social Media Revolution Conference where it's winding down. And I'm joined by Mark Reagan of Reagan Communications. Tell us how the impact of having a conference like this at mm -hmm. a company like eBay uh, has resonated with the yeah. attendees. Yeah, we find we've been doing conferences for 40 years. And in the last two years, our conferences have just been incredibly popular because we call them hosted events. We actually go to a company, eBay, last year Southwest Airlines, next year we're hoping Coca-Cola, and we go behind their walls and listen to their communicators talk to our communicators, the people who paid to come here, about what their strategy is in social media, um, give us case studies on what's succeeding and what isn't. And I think the attraction to having a hosted event is how many times do communicators get to get outside of their company or outside of the cubicle that they're working in and see how other companies do it. So for example, the people who were attending here got a tour of the campus. They found out how eBay is going green with some of their office that buildings. Was a great session. Yeah, things like that. So that's really the whole um, uh, foundation behind the Reagan hosted events. And as far as the content of this um, yeah. social media uh, revolution, what uh, what are you finding as feedback from the highlights from speakers and attendees? Yeah, I think the thing that's stunning to me because Reagan has been doing social media. Um, uh, summits now for three years is how many people still don't know the basics. I mean, I just had someone tell me from um, a major energy company that uh, she really didn't know what Twitter was. She didn't know what, um, she had a, barely an understanding of blogging uh, technology, SharePoint, other things like that. So we automatically make the assumption that everybody's on the same sheet of music when it comes to social media, when in reality, many of your viewers probably are still grasping. Yes. Um, you know, for example, another person came up to me and said, I don't know what Skype is. Do you know what Skype yes, is? Yes, I yeah. have a Skype you account. You have a Skype account. <laughs> Skype, for those who don't know, is a voice over internet service that allows you to make calls anywhere in the world for free. Um, so it's really, it's really heartening to know <laughs> from a conference sponsor point of view that we still have a lot of teaching um, to do. And, and your next event in North Carolina, tell us about that. Yeah, our next hosted event is with the multi-billion dollar software company called SAS, and it's in the Raleigh-Durham area of North Carolina. And here communicators, once again, will come to the campus and they'll hear from SAS executives, senior executives, about what they expect from communication teams. They'll see how SAS operates their intranet. They'll see this amazing internal video department that SAS has. And at the same time, We'll be bringing speakers from other companies uh, from around the world into uh, that conference. So it's not just SaaS speakers. It's the SaaS speakers are key keynoting the event, but all of our usual popular speakers will be there too. Well, I'm sure we can expect a similar fast-paced and exciting informative event. Thanks very much. I hope so. Thank you.